metallurgy is a process of extracting pure metals from their ores now the general principles of metallurgy include four different steps and these four different steps are the first one being concentration of the ore second conversion of ores into oxides or other desired compounds thirdly reduction of ores to form crude metals and lastly refining of metals we shall study refining of metals in detail in refining of crude metals we have the following processes liquidation process pooling electrolytic refining zone refining vapor phase refining van arkels method of refining zirconium and titanium and lastly chromatography metals obtained after smelting or any other method may contain impurities like their unreacted unreduced oxides other metals non metals and gases the purification of crude metals by removing metallic and non metallic impurities is known as refining of metals refining can be carried out by several methods one of the method is liquidation process in this process low melting metal forms fusible liquid on heating and flows down this method is employed only when the impurity has higher melting point then the required metal the impure metal is placed on the sloping hearth of a reverberatory furnace on heating above melting point the pure metal flows down bismuth tin lead mercury are separated from their crude form by liquidation pure tin metal that is obtained by this method is known as pig tin the second method of refining is pooling this method is generally employed in the purification of copper or tin which contains oxide impurities the impure metal is melted and stirred with green logs of wood the heat of molten metal makes the green logs to liberate hydrocarbon gases which in turn reduces the metal oxide into metals molten impure copper contains 98% purity it becomes 99.5% pure after pooling process electrolytic refining is one of the most commonly used methods of refining impure metals are refined in an electrolytic bath containing aqueous solution of their salts the rods of impure metal are used as anode and thin sheets of pure metal as cathode during electrolysis metal from anode dissolves in the solution 
while the same amount of pure metal deposits on the cathode the impurities like more reactive metals dissolve in the solution less reactive metals are insoluble they form anode mud at the bottom 99.9% pure metal is obtained in this process metals like copper silver nickel aluminium and zinc are refined by this method the next method of refining is zone refining ultra pure metals and non metals are obtained by zone refining process it is also called as fractional crystallization method because this method is based on the principle that when an impure metal is melted and allowed to solidify the impurities slowly move away from the solid region and prefer to be distributed in the molten region in this method one end of the long rod of an element is heated using a small high frequency induction furnace so that a thin cross section of the metal is melted as the heating unit is moved slowly along the other end of the rod the molten region solidifies the impurities will slowly move towards the molten liquid then in the solid hence they move towards the molten region as the heating unit is moved to the other end of the rod impurities will also slowly move towards the same end that is towards the molten end this process is repeated several times until purity of 99.999 a purity of 5 nines is achieved the end portion is impure and can be rejected a noble gas atmosphere is provided during the process in order to prevent the oxidation of the metal the next process of refining is vapor phase refining in this method metal is converted into volatile compound and collected it undergoes a decomposition to give pure metal hence the conditions for vapor phase refining are a the metal should form volatile compound with available reagent and b the volatile compound formed should be easily decomposable so that the metal is easily recovered mon process for refining nickel in this process nickel is heated in a stream of carbon monoxide to form nickel tetra carbonyl complex which is highly volatile the nickel carbonyl complex is heated at high temperature the complex decomposes to give pure metal in van arkel's method for refining zirconium we use oxygen and nitrogen This method is used to remove the oxygen and nitrogen completely present in the impure form of certain metals like zirconium and titanium. 
the impure metal is heated in a vessel with little iodine to form iodide of metal which being covalent volatilizes a tungsten filament is used for electrically heating zirconium to about 1800 kelvin the pure metal gets deposited on the filament as the deposition goes on the current is steadily raised to maintain the temperature the last method of refining is chromatography it is a modern versatile and wide spread technique this method is based on the principle of selective adsorption of the components of a mixture it is the selective distribution of the components of a mixture between the two phases that is one the moving phase and secondly the stationary phase in column chromatography the column is filled with a paste of solid stationary phase like aluminum oxide or silica the mixture to be separated is poured from the top an eluent moving phase is added from the top as it moves the different components are adsorbed on different parts of the column depending upon the physical state of moving phase the chromatographic methods are named as gas chromatography thin layer chromatography paper chromatography etc the method is very useful for purification of the elements which are found in traces column chromatography is used when impurities and the element to be purified have less difference in their chemical properties